I think the biggest challenge that we faced was we quite quickly introduced a lot of devices into the school system. So from the start of this academic year, every child in Key Stage 3 was given a Chromebook, um, which in principle sounds fantastic, but we found that in quite a few lessons we weren't in control of what the learners were doing in those lessons. We were trusting them that they were on task, but we didn't have complete knowledge of what they were looking at. So we wanted to find a solution to that, something that could give a confidence back to teachers that they were in control of their lessons. So when learners were sat at the back of the room, really, really quiet, looking like they were doing their work, um, we knew that they weren't playing games or they weren't on websites that they shouldn't be on. Um, so in the first instance, it was having that control of what learners were accessing when using Chromebooks. Um, Moving on from that then, we also wanted to try and find a tool that enabled staff to be able to support learners in their learning as well. A tool that could share the staff member's device to learners who were using Chromebooks in that lesson. Um, and we found that this software helped that fantastically well. Um, I think actually one of the main features from Classroom.Cloud that I've really enjoyed is the support that we get. Um, so we took quite a slow process in terms of introducing it into the school. We started with a, a small group of teachers to kind of iron out any problems that we thought we might have, but in doing that the support at Classroom.Cloud was great. They were always only either an email away or a phone call away. Um, and that was really reassuring for us as a school. It's, a new type of package that we've used, that we've never used before and don't have experience in using. And the staff at Classroom.Cloud were brilliant in terms of guiding us through those steps at the very beginning. And sometimes our questions were a bit silly really, but we were never made to feel that they were silly questions. Um, it was about giving us that confidence in using the package and, and making sure that before we roll out Classroom.Cloud to all our staff within the school, we were confident in terms of how we were using it. So actually that was probably the best feature was that personal service that we felt that we got from the colleagues working for Classroom.Cloud and the fact that they were always really accessible in terms of answering any questions or fixing any problems that we might have had. Other features that I think were really, really useful for me personally as a, as a teacher using Classroom.Cloud was that ability to lock screens immediately in a classroom. So. If you're in a classroom environment and you're using um, Chromebooks that we use in the school, when you wanted learners' attention directed at you, you can automatically lock every Chromebook straight away using Classroom.Cloud. And that stops learners from maybe not paying attention to what you're saying and certainly having focus on you. In addition to that, Classroom.Cloud has enabled us to share our screen with all of the computers and Chromebooks that the children are using in the classroom environment at that time. So yes, you can get their attention to you in, at the front of the classroom, but more importantly, when you're demonstrating and you're using your own device, that can be shared through classroom.cloud as well to all learners' devices too. So that's a great feature as well. So, as I said earlier, we, we began with the rollout of Chromebooks within the school. So up until a point, learners pick their Chromebooks up at the start of the day, take them with them to all lessons, and then return them at the end of the day. Our next steps then were for learners to take Chromebooks home and to use them at home with their learning. Um, the fear that we had in terms of that was learners accessing websites that they shouldn't be accessing and using the Chromebooks in a way that was inappropriate. So the features within classroom.cloud has helped give us confidence in terms of learners' e-safety at home, and certainly if they do search for anything that they shouldn't be searching for, that's flagged up, and, and that helps us identify when learners are looking for things that they shouldn't do. Similarly, there are other features in terms of learners maybe searching for, for keywords um, that would maybe raise a flag or certainly raise alarm bells in terms of well-being for learners as well as a safeguarding issue. So if for argument's sake a learner was, was searching for terms such as self-harm um, or anything of that nature, those keywords are also flagged up as well. And that would be relayed to whoever is responsible for identifying that. Um, in, in school we've got an ICT member of staff um, 
whose dedicated responsibility is monitoring classroom.cloud and searching for those, or not searching, for receiving those key terms as well and passing them on to the relevant body. So those two features have reassured us as a school that our learners are able to access work at home using our devices, but in a safe environment because of classroom.cloud and what it provides for us. I think so, yes. Um, since we've introduced classroom.cloud as a, as a feature with our Chromebooks within school, there has been a marked improvement in terms of behaviour for learning when, when learners are using Chromebooks in their lessons. I think that was the, the key factor at the very beginning for us searching for a, a package that would help improve learner usage of Chromebooks and certainly learner engagement and behaviour of Chromebooks. Earlier in the year, we felt that it wasn't where we wanted it to be. Um, we felt that there were too many occasions when learners weren't using our technology appropriately. And certainly also, learners maybe didn't have that capacity to use them effectively as well. So Classroom.cloud has helped in two ways. It's helped us to have a greater control of what learners are doing with their Chromebooks and, and certainly helped to improve behavior for learning. But arguably more importantly, it's helped in terms of the pedagogy and how we use technology within the classroom to improve pedagogy as well, where teachers are able to demonstrate really effectively different aspects of their subject using technology, but certainly using classroom.cloud as a vehicle to make demonstrations clearer, more beneficial for learners, and certainly to help improve outcomes of learners as well. The evidence for that is, is very much qualitative at the moment um, in terms of responses from staff through a survey that we recently conducted. Of that evidence, um, quite a large amount of feedback was about how classroom.cloud has helped staff in terms of managing classroom time really effectively, ensuring that children are on task when they should be on task, but certainly also when they're searching online for different websites and different resources, we can use the, the launch pad function, um, which teachers can direct pupils straight to a website that they want them to use in terms of research and certainly in terms of finding information. And that feature has been really, really helpful. It saved time and certainly class teachers energy where learners are trying to find information and maybe spending a little bit too much time trying to find information. Teachers can now direct them straight to websites that are really useful, um, especially when they're conducting research activities. So that feature of classroom.cloud has certainly been really effective. I think that it's given us the advantage now that when we use classroom.cloud, we've got a greater control in the immediacy in terms of what learners are searching for online and certainly if there's any terms or terminology that would raise red flags. That is picked up straight away um, very, very quickly and staff within the school are alerted to that fact almost immediately. But also what it's meant for us as a school now is that when learners take our devices home and use them at home, we are confident that we've got that control in terms of how those devices are being used. Prior to purchasing classroom.cloud, we weren't able to let learners take our devices home. Now we feel safe that, that they can do that because they will be used properly um, for, for the intentions that we want them to be used. Um, really, really seamless to be honest. Um, one of the best aspects for us um, of classroom.cloud was the, the support that we received from colleagues either by email or by telephone. Um, so we're a Welsh secondary school and we use something called Hub which is slightly different in Wales um, but posed quite a few problems in terms of setting things up. So classroom.cloud were really really helpful and certainly very supportive in, in helping overcome any barriers that we, we discovered through that setup process. Um, similarly, before we rolled classroom.cloud out to all teaching staff within the school, we started with a small group of teachers, approximately 11 or 12, who used classroom.cloud for a, a term to look for any problems or any issues that we might, we might have. Through that process as well, um, 
colleagues within Classroom.cloud were great in terms of always being at the end of a telephone and certainly re replying to emails very, very quickly, even when the questions were quite trivial and maybe quite small issues, really. Um, nothing ever was too small for, for colleagues at Classroom.cloud in terms of helping us. Because of that, we have felt very confident in, in how we use the system and certainly have been very confident then in rolling it out to, to more than 50 teaching staff within the school. We're still in our first year of using Classroom.cloud and certainly there, there potentially might be occasions where we'll ring for support, but we're confident that when we do that, the support that we receive is, is absolutely first class. Um, only that we've been really pleased in terms of how Classroom.cloud has helped us this year. It's a software package that has been really beneficial for us as a school, certainly helping teachers in a classroom level, but certainly also helping senior leaders in terms of our rollout for our digital strategy. And that's been really beneficial for me personally. Um, it's something that we'll continue to use even more. And I think, yes, it does offer that security and, and safety and confidence in, in the knowledge that we've got a greater control over how ICT is used by our learners. But I think more importantly as well for me, over the next couple of months and certainly over the next 12 months, it will help develop how we use ICT pedagogically as well. Um, in terms of learning and teaching for our young people, but certainly giving staff that confidence to, to explore how we use technology even further within the school. And that can only be a bonus.